What's up guys, today we're going to be opening up another collection purchase. I have no idea what's in this one. He just sent it to me and I'm going to figure out what I'm going to pay him now based on what I see because uh, I literally have not seen anything in this yet. So this is going to be a complete surprise for me and hopefully you guys enjoy watching it. The giveaway are these three cards, Labyrinth of Nightmare, Original Print Super Rares. All you got to do, like this video, be subscribed and let me know what you guys think the value of this collection is slash what I should pay. Usually there is a difference because if the value is a thousand, I'm not going to pay a thousand because then I wouldn't make any money on it because usually when I buy these collections, I don't keep most of the cards because that helps me pay for the channel. A lot of you guys think I'm a millionaire. I'm not. So let's get into this. All right, here we go. First deck box. Let's see what we have. We have a Dark Necro Fear from DL2, Megasonic Eye. Okay, DL2 stuff. We got Big Burn. This is just some random foil. Some of it's old school, some of it's not. So, absolute power force. That's actually pretty cool. Nothing, nothing too valuable so far though. So like when you see a lot of this stuff, stuff like this, like if you're selling, is actually almost more trouble than it's worth. It, it's, it's worth it sometimes. I like that's why I like TCG player for this kind of stuff because you can just post it up there for like a dollar and then it prints you the invoice or like gets you an invoice and all that stuff. That's cool, secret rare. Um, trade in's probably actually a couple dollars, but uh, when it's worth like you know 75 cents, that kind of stuff, like when you sell it, it's almost it's barely counted towards the payment because it's like it just gives me more work to make hardly anything on it, so it's pretty tough. It's pretty tough selling that kind of stuff. Mystical Elf, that's cool. Old school stuff usually does pretty good. Like on Instagram, you can sell that kind of stuff. Because people are trying to collect there. On TCG Player, it's, I feel like it's more players. Because collectors don't really trust TCG Player too much anymore. Because, in term, but well, here's the thing. Collectors want to buy a mint card for, on, for near mint on TCG Player. Which doesn't work like that. Because it's listed as near mint, not mint. So, oh, that's actually cool. Exchange. So they, they want to buy a mint they want to buy a near mint card and when they get it it be mint but that's not how it works it's near mint so uh, it's kind of unfair towards CCG player zombie world that's pretty cool but that's how it works oh book of moon I like that and compulse that's cool that's actually worth a couple bucks so there's some there's some a lot better value in this deck box I would say foolish burial goods probably not too bad graceful battle pack that gracefuls are apparently expensive now need a worm that's cool. Yeah, the graceful uh, secret rares from Legendary Collection Yu-Gi-Oh's World. If you guys saw my goat deck video, make sure you check that out. I found out graceful charities worth like thirty-eight dollars. I was like, uh, what? All right, let's see what's in here. Let us see. So far, we're not seeing too much. Okay, Silent Magician's pretty cool. I don't. I mean, it's from Yu-Gi-Oh's Legendary deck, so it, that's a set. You know, it's basically a starter deck. So not too valuable there, but it's a little bit. That's cool uh, alternate art there. That's from Legendary Duelist Season 1, which was not a very good set. In terms of value, it just tanked, but it was pretty cool, though. I don't know if people really liked the colored names or not, though, because it just felt weird getting the same cards like over and over. It was pretty weird. Wing Kribo level 9. I wonder if that's where they... Oh, I dropped it. It's definitely cool. Fifth Hope. A Claws. And a Pumpkin Carriage. All right, so out of there, there was a few decent cards, but for the most part, nothing crazy. I think the big stuff is going to be in this binder, I hope. I don't even know if there is big stuff, to be honest. There might not be. It might just be a smaller collection with smaller value stuff, which is fine. Okay. All right. First off, we have a Burst String Destruction. That's pretty cool. First edition, Forceful Century, Premature Burial. Zombie Warrior is actually like an $8 common, I think, which is funny. Dark Magician Girl, Marauding Captain. That's not a bad first page. Oh wait, we missed, uh, actually this guy's actually pretty expensive too, out of Dual Overload. I don't think they've reprinted him yet, so he's pretty good. There is the alternate art, or the alternative dragon, sorry. That guy's going to be a ghost rare coming soon, which is cool. I mean, he already is in the OCG, but there's Hellpalmer, Blowback Dragon. We got a Saruja. This guy used to be extremely expensive. Oh, if I hold it like that, there's no glare. How about that? There's some ultis right here. That's cool. Some Frightfurs. With Chef, we got Megamorph. We got the Duelist of the Roses promos. Those are cool. We got a lot. Okay, we've got some more uh, game promos there. Those are really nice. We have some Dark Ruler No Morse. I don't know if those are still expensive or not. The Ghost Trick Lantern, I think, used to be a few bucks. It might still be. 
Ancient Sanctuary, or the Sanctuary in the Sky, Chaos Command Magician. Somebody was asking me about that the other day. Buster Blader from Fair Servant, that is a reprint. Oh, Harpy's Feather Duster, that's pretty cool. Ultimate Rare, that's cool. Okay, there's some pretty nice stuff in here. Delinquent Duo, a lot of GOAT stuff. I got the original starter deck stuff. If I skip over something, it's just, just a lot, you know. Nibiru's, those are nice. The Secret Rare versions from the tin. Evenly matched, that's always nice. The Golden Castle, I know is super hard to pull, but uh, I don't think it has much value because they reprinted it. There is a tin Summon Skull, that's cool. So the Necros, Raigeki. These are reprints, the Mirror Force, the Dark Mirror Force, and the Raigeki. Thousand Dragon looks original, Secret Rare. Yamati, <laughs> Yamati Dragon? <laughs> Yapati Dragon, okay, Firewall. <laughs> that used to be good. Legendary Collection, Yugi's World, Black Luster Soldier is really cool. There's actually some, this is pretty nice, actually. I'm pretty happy about this. Black Luster Soldier, Guardian Angel Joan, Blue Eyes White Dragon Ultimate Rare, Winged Dragon of Ross Spear Mode. We've got Gate Guardians, Secret Rares there. We've got, okay, wait, these look a little different. I think one of these may be the 2010 version. That is a uh, common Gate Guardian, you don't see that much. Relinquish, that is from, what is that from? S-R-L-E-N, that's pretty cool. Relinquish Anima, Ultimate Rare here. We have MRDEN Black Skull and a regular MRD Black Skull, not a reprint, that's cool. EN is a reprint, but it's a old reprint. These are big reprints right here. These are the newer ones, those are cool. BPT, Phantasme Secret Rare. Yeah, definitely some cool stuff in here. The grass looks greener. Uh, Red Eye Slash Dragon. Manju the 10,000 Hands, Ultimate Rare here. That is from our favorite set, Dimension of Chaos. Judgment of Anubis Secret Rare, Galaxy Soldier. Some nice Ancient Sanctuary stuff up there. Oh wait, I didn't see the uh, the Cursed Necrofear. That's cool. Then we have LOB set of Exodia. Okay, this is <laughs> this is not a set because there's two right legs. Okay, the left leg, guys. What did I tell you? There's no left leg here. It's crazy. Even in the reprints, this one this one doesn't look like a reprint though. But these limbs do. Trihorns. Um, those look a little different. I think. Oh, those look. Those both look kind of reprinting. I can't really see very well. This one is definitely a reprint. That one looks a little bit different. It might be a 2010, could be even an older one. Guy, uh, we've got Jinzo, our favorite card on this channel. <laughs> Guy the Dragon Champion, Vampire, Imperial Order. We've got a double Ash Blossom, we got both arts. That guy has been, that girl, I guess, has been reprinted a lot. Dark Sage. Blue Eyes Tune, we got Powder and White Dragon. Dusa, Dark Magician, that's cool. Cosmo, Dark Lady. I've pulled that like three times randomly. E Emergency Call, is that the secret rare? Yes, it is. That's that's a pretty nice card. The Black Cluster Soldier. Oh, what is this? Ultimate Rare LODT Super Ancient Dino Blast. Is that what that says? I can't see very well at this angle, to be honest. Big Eye, that's cool. Blue Eye Shining, our favorite card. Or <laughs> one of them. Ill Blood, that's sick, actually. That's a little bit of wear right there, but that's actually really nice. Team Sam pulled that against us in that battle. Make sure you check out the video when we battled him. That was a lot of fun. We opened some old stuff. Destiny board, cool. Dimension Fusion. Big Shield God, no? Lightning Storm. Okay, that's a big card. Boral Load. Dragon. Boral Sword Dragon. So, I'm, okay, there is actually a lot in here. He said it wasn't that big of a deal. This is actually a pretty nice collection. I mean, there's nothing huge. I guess Lightning Storm is probably the biggest one, but there is some cool stuff. Nice card there. We got a C X Y Z Dragon. Sinister Serpent, that's nice for Goat. We got our die right there, Card of Demise. We got the perfectly ultimate Great Moth. Red Eyes Baby Dragon. Volcanic Doomfire is really cool. And Pot of Greed, Pot of Desires. There's the Dark Law, super rare. Okay, not the ulti, the super rare. Uh, Neos, sick. As I really like that secret rare. We're gonna speed up a tiny bit. White Stone of the Ancient, Secret Rare, that's pretty cool. And Insect Queen. The Eye of Tamias, I think, is actually worth something, is it not? It probably got reprinted in Season 1 of Legendary Duelist. Uh, Fiber Jar. Oh, that's not Legendary Duelist. That's Dra in Dragon's Legends, I mean. Or maybe that is it. Dragon's Legend Complete Series. Yep, that's it. All right, we got it. We figured it out. <laughs> Chocola Mode. Part of the Red Lotus used to be a valuable common. Probably way down now. We have... Invader of Darkness, cool. Uh, Flame Swordsman, Heavy Storm. Um, Red Eyes Fang with Chain. Crystal Beast Sapphire Pegasus. Dark Magician the Dragonite is really cool, actually. Twisters, Terraforming. 
Sky Striker Ace Ray, Mega Phantom Beast O Lion, mind you, the 10,000 hands. Yeah, this Victoria thing I think is actually really cheap. It looks really cool though. Cross Sheep before it got uh, reprinted. Or maybe that was the reprint. I don't know. Secret Rare Solemn Judgments. I love that. Even better than the Gold Rare one. Spirit Reaper. That's cool. Oh, CRV Cyber Dragon. That's cool. And CRV Cyber Twin Dragon. Breaker. Pot of Duality. I, I think only the Secret Rare is worth something on that. Nobleman. We've got uh, all the uh, the Ghost Girls here except Ash Blossom, I think. It was over with the other Ash Blossom. We have a few things. Swords Revealing Light, uh, Summoning Great Omirage, and Kaiku Secret Rare. That's cool. And D Mock. Is that a. That's Yu Gi's Legendary Dex. Okay, so that was a pretty good binder, actually. So overall, I think that was a pretty nice binder. Definitely worth quite a bit. I mean, it, I don't know. I, ballparking, it's going to be over 500 bucks, I would say for sure. I don't know what the total is going to be. Maybe like six, 800. Who knows? I'll have to look. But let me know in the comments what you guys think about the total value. There's a lot of good stuff in there. Uh, nothing like over 100 bucks, I don't think. So that it's like more smaller stuff. But pretty cool binder overall and the deck boxes as well. So it was pretty good. Let me know what you guys think about the collection videos. If you enjoy them, hit the like button and let me know in the comments. And that's it for today. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Elemental Hero, Dark Bright, Boom! Oh. <laughs>